Welcome to a new tutorial today. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Apache uh, web server on your Mac OS X uh, 10.11. Uh, we also create a user root and we include a PHP. Uh, at first uh, we're going to start uh, for a spotlight search and uh, type in terminal and we're coming here and at first we get, uh, we uh, try to allow hidden folders so we copy this command defaults write com apple fin finder apple show all files yes after we have uh, done with this uh, with this comment uh, we go to kill all finder so we restarting the finder the finder should appear and now we see all the hidden hidden uh, hidden uh, folders like bin course etc network private opt sbin temp user var volumes all this stuff. If you want to make it uh, the opposite, to, to not show hidden folders, just type in no. And it's really important to uh, uh, make sure that uh, you type in the whole uh, stuff right, uh, uppercase, lowercase, because uh, it's case sensitive. Okay, so uh, the good thing about uh, uh, Apache it's already installed at uh, at um, at Mac OS X. My server is running now, so I'm stopping it. And I will show you if you go to localhost, you should uh, come to a site uh, where it says this website is not available. Connection refused. So we type in sudo, which means super user do, uh, and apache control ctl start. Normally you are asked for a password, which is your administrator password for your uh, computer, uh, for your Mac. But I've uh, already typed in my password, so it don't ask me for this anymore. So I typed in sudo apache control start and enter and if we reload this page it should work perfectly fine of course we can stop the server if we say sudo apache control stop and reload this site is not available of course we can restart apache control restart this is normally used when the server is already running, but it also will work to start your uh, server again and click restart and it works perfectly fine. Uh, but now uh, we want to check which, uh, which version of uh, Apache is running on the system. So we type in HTTPD and we enter and we have Apache version 2.4.16. All right. If your uh, web server is not running, you can uh, come to Apache control config test and command not found sudo Apache control config test. Okay, there is many, many, many. Okay, this is bullshit. I just copy this little thing here. And if we come here, you see everything is fine. But uh, if your web server is not running, I don't know why, uh, the machine will tell you the error and where the error is. Okay. Our global root is in library web server documents, which is perfect. But what if uh, you just want to set your web server on your uh, user you already working on? So we have to do uh, some stuff. We need to go uh, to your user 
and we need to create a new uh, folder called sites. So create a new folder, call it sites and let's go. Now we have uh, to, uh, to create a new file in etc apache2 users. So uh, we can uh, simply say sudo nano which means uh, we can uh, write a new file or view the file, save the file, configure the file and uh, we're going into this file. It doesn't matter if this file is existing or not uh, because if you save it the file will exist and if the file does not exist it will show you an empty file. Okay let's go. Uh, it's not it's not username config, it's your username of the machine you're using right now. So mine is Kaiser McLuck. You see it up there. Dot conf. All right. So normally your file should be empty here. And all you have to type in here is uh, this simple, uh, this simple, uh, 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 script directory user and you need to change username to your username of the of your of your uh, machine you're using right now then simply click control and O to save and then enter and then there should be you wrote five lines and control X to exit the, uh, the file all right the permissions on this file uh, should be this. Uh, we can simply set them by say sudo gmod. Okay, we're not on this file right now, so I'm simply copying. No, I have it here. Say sudo gmod664. Bullshit. I. All right. I've missed something, and uh, run this. What this uh, does is simply uh, when you're here on your file, it's in etc. Apache two, HTTP config or. No. Apache users here what it simply does if you're going to information you open this screen and you uh, let uh, you're doing the writing and uh, reading stuff for uh, specific users uh, all right now uh, we need to uh, go into our HTTP uh, D config file and uh, configure uh, some uh, modules. So we inside here, the first two models uh, should already be uh, installed. So if we say control W and go navigate to this file, uh, there should be no, uh, no uh, hashtag. All right. The first two uh, should be already installed, but if not, uh, go simply delete this. Uh, simply delete the the hashtag. All right. So the next three we have to delete. All right. First. Then the second, and third. This is to allow the user directory to include our user directory and allow the rewriting engine if you want uh, to have clean paths. So, oh, and uh, if you want to allow rewriting, you also need to. Uh, uh, search for this one you're searching 
for a comment actually because there are many allow overrides and the overrides should be allowed so set it to all okay next we want to uh, start uh, or get PHP so control V uh, control W sorry and uh, navigate to this model and simply delete the hashtag and of course you need to uncomment this line because if you don't include the HTTP user directory configure file you don't will uh, able to navigate to uh, the server will, will not be able to navigate to this file to this directory so we include this then uh, we simply say control O and enter and we wrote 543 lines and say control X to exit now we have to navigate to our HTTP user directory file simply by sudo nano etc apache2 extra HTTP user directory configure file and we need to include the private etc apache2 users dot config this is simply a, a point uh, the file we just created before we created it in in another folder but uh, in the private folder there is a copy which is uh, the over which is the same so if we save this control o control sorry control o enter Control X. Perfect. Now we simply say uh, sudo Apache control restart. And now we can navigate to our directory, say uh, wave and your name. And if you load this, you should be uh, directed to this index page. All right, looks great. Now uh, let's create a new, fo new, new file, call it uh, PHP info and write this text inside and command S for saving, file, save as into our sites folder in your username sites and save it under php dot php info dot php save yeah i replace it because i've done it before and then simply write this line and reload your server and now you see all your files in your directory and you click on php info and if your php module works fine you s you'll be able to using PHP now on this server, the version 5.5.29. Perfectly. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And of course, uh, if you have any questions or any doubts, let me know uh, in the comment box below and I will uh, try to answer your questions as soon as possible and have fun developing new stuff. See you again. Bye.